downtown at Abacoa, which is a Jupiter neighborhood. I'm gonna bring you all through a walkthrough. The place is beautiful, it's quiet right now. But this is a great neighborhood, great community, and a place for the gig economy, the ride share companies, the food delivery companies. Right here is Jumbie Bay Island Grill. They have a really good seafood pasta. I enjoyed that last year. I remember I was down here waiting on some roadie gigs with Delta Airlines, Palm Beach International. Palm Beach International is a little bit south of here. And such as life, things weren't going my way. DJ was spinning. They have a good time. DJ spin, people dance. And it's a well-behaved environment. You know, they got security. I enjoyed the seafood pasta while I was sitting there. I remember one of those roadie gigs became available. Severo Beach. So I enjoyed that meal. It was just a memorable meal. Good seafood pasta. They had this sweet Alfredo cream. Remember, I think scallops were in it. But same night, took a bath from there to the beach side of Vero Beach. Yeah, this strip right here, there's a Pilates club. I don't know what Pilates is, but it's a buzzword in fitness. <laughs> and um, it's an art gallery. Looks like they're working on putting that together. I don't know the age and history of that art gallery. Let's see. There's an insurance agency right here. Just walking through. There's a Century 21 Realty office here. Century 21. And as you see the real estate here. These are people's apartments. You can hear that music playing. Care of the powers that be, <laughs> the ownership, property maintenance, or what have you, what have you, property management. There's a spa <laughs> right here, across there. Spa. See a chiropractic office over there with a capstone. Chiropractic office. Restaurants and all that here. There's this place, Das Beer Garden. And Stadium Grill, JJ Moe Stadium Grill in this vicinity. Another great place people watch football games, and other sports events, right over here. Stadium Grill, they're open right now for takeout and delivery. It was a few days ago I did a delivery for them. Yeah. There's an amphitheater down here. A lot of concerts. Look forward to it this summer when things get well. Just want to take you all through a walk. One of the places is really good here. Hey guys, how you doing? Hey there, what's happening? I walk forward, you all. Roger Dean, the name and rights of the stadium. Spring baseball, minor league baseball. I'm gonna cross the street and go there. It's dark, but I want you guys to see what the structure of the property looks like. If there's enough light for that. But just wanna take a walk and talk. I'm online for Postmates again, like I was earlier today. And I got to serve the populations, but I want to build that that connection with you guys a little deeper. YouTube, Instagram, TV, Instagram. I want you guys to be able to feel where I am sometimes, you know, and see what see what it's like. And I noticed in the last recession, I was a new college graduate back in 2008, 2009. You know, in the last recession, I noticed people. Maybe their social choice has changed. It seemed to me, and it may be a little slow for me because I'm in the South and from a small town, not here, but it seemed to me people became more about the food trucks and 
like craft breweries and the pub crawl people became more about that so that probably has a play in why the food delivery services are even a mention of conversation nowadays and i'm doing my best to spread the word with you guys so here's the naming on roger dean stadium a little dark but spring baseball is here and it's busy in the summertime when the minor leagues are doing their thing there's something to do you know right in the community there's apartments over here throughout this abacoa jupiter neighborhood and the neighbors that surround it Out here with their families with their pets walking yeah this this is the south of jupiter you're in jupiter when you cross donald ross road you enter into palm beach gardens they got a new township over there called alton town center there's a hotel back here courtyard right in front of the stadium really good place and not only does the minor league play there you have from, t from time to time a lot of these cities in Florida that facilitate that facilitate spring ball also do things for the high school and the college ball tournaments. Spring ball. There's a Florida Atlantic campus here. Florida Atlantic. The big campus is in both of the tone. Same uh, campus. I ran over something metal and I thought my But up north here in Jupiter, there's a university campus. And this is becoming a place where some science companies are headquartering in Northern Palm Beach. Like companies that hire engineers people that are involved in the infrastructure, electronics, research and design, engineering. So it's the Florida Atlantic, the front, the front gate here, and the Max Planck Academy. Some more science, you know, it's dark out here. I tried to hit it earlier, y'all. This is the banner work for FAU Jupiter. You got students from around the country, around the world. They come here to do what they do. Education as we know it. But like I was saying about science in the community, Jupiter, Palm Beach County, you have these research institutes like Max Planck, and you have engineers that have those jobs with travelers involved. Like they might live in New York, but they come do work here and they stay in a hotel. So a lot of times those have been passengers of mine, Uber or Lyft, and some of them, they're very generous people. Some are just asked to go to Starbucks. They buy me something, you know? Just taking where they're going. They're filling Palm Beach County out. There's no more, no less. It's just Starbucks. They're going to residence. I'm on to my next customer. Let's get to see what people are. See what people are. I'm gonna avoid avoid that path. Let that dog have his fun. That barking dog. Let him have his fun. But he's enjoying that nice grass over there with this amphitheater. The back side of the amphitheater. So when some of your favorite reggae and dub artists come through this summer, know that this is where they at. Right here in this amphitheater. Some of his favorite reggae and dub artists that you know and love, right there in that amphitheater. Yep, I'm gonna continue walking right back across the area I was before. That's why I was walking, y'all. A little more well lit from this angle. Yeah, I didn't mean to wait for it to get this dark to give you Jupiter, but trust me, there'll be more Jupiter videos. Yeah. Abacoa neighborhood, really nice, y'all. More restaurants here. Hibachi and sushi place, Bahama Bucks. Bahama Bucks does smoothies, and different ice cream. 
frozen yogurt shakes, things of that sort. <laughs> and there's a lot of free parking here. So it's the kind of place you can come. You can park for free, even in the garage. Police monitor the place. It's safe. As you can see, Jupiter. It's safe. Police come through monitoring. People coming through. They're bike riding with their friends, young, young adults, parents, whole families, everything. Good sociable neighborhood here. Yes, indeed. I'm gonna keep walking, talking with you guys. So in this neighborhood, a typical ride share gig connectivity here. Like in the daytime, it's a good market. You have people that take it to the airport. Either they're going to Palm Beach International, right down the road, or Fort Lauderdale, a little more south, or Miami. But it's a good place to start. Good place for them to start. They'll catch, they'll catch a ride. It'll be any time of the morning. Four in the morning, nine in the morning, anything. So a lot of you early risers, depending on what your life schedule is like, there's opportunity to get people rides. And in the morning you have the medical appointments. People have medical appointments. And throughout the day you have the food deliveries, especially in the evening. You have a lot of people, they want food or they want dessert. Literally, you're picking up dessert for them sometimes. There's a yoga place and a martial arts place. But by night, especially Thursday through Sunday, that seems to be the pattern. A lot of people going out. And sometimes they hop. They have one place they're going to another. So there's money in it for those of you all interested in becoming involved in the ride share companies. Just walking the block with you all. More restaurants. Restaurant, sports bar scenes. Yeah, oh y'all, this one was some more daylight one day. But it's beautiful, y'all. Like some of these same restaurants, even if people don't live right here, you might live a few minutes away. You pull up, go to the restaurant. Some of the some of the deliveries with Postmates, for example, are already paid for. Just picking up by name. Most times with Uber, already paid for. But they've adapted. They got some other ones where we're going to be paying. When I say pay with any of these companies, the companies have a card. You know, for you all who trust the technology and technologically advanced, technology, technologically advanced, you can put it on your pay, your Google Pay, your Apple Pay, and do the transaction that way. But you're not using your own money. I want you guys to have an understanding that the company has your backing. You know, you. You come get in there and do your work. It's like when you become a realtor, I've never become a realtor, but think about the jobs like realtor, claims adjuster, you know, mortgage, insurance agent, representative. The company has a lot of the bigger things taken care of. You just bring your talent. I want you to bring your talent if you want to get involved with the ride share companies and begin making that money for yourselves. And if that's not motivating you, making it for someone else, and maybe for your brother or your sister, maybe for your son or your daughter, maybe for your mother or your father. But think about it, be a producer, be productive. The pharmacy there, the pharmacy's open, or the light just may be on is open. You see people are starting their businesses in communities like this. Some of you, this may be your dream. You may have vested well in education, you may be a pretty sharp person. You may want to live where you work, you know, work where you live. Very beautiful place, y'all. Quiet neighborhood, people. Nice people, nice kind people. Another beautiful signage here, downtown Abaco. Got free parking garage, free parking. There's a spot here, the Jupiter Beach Club. Got Winnie the Pooh Bear. Winnie the Pooh Bear there. Some more light here, you can see me. Yes. But it's a happening spot though. One time's a well, Thursday through Sunday, happening. One of many throughout Florida, so y'all been 
keeping up with me these past three, four years, you'll notice I'm posting, checking in in different cities. Like, I literally pass through. Great places, y'all. Just walking the block, watching my landmarks. Got some more residences here. Let's check out the real estate scene. There's some street lights to help. But I literally just got done doing a Tijuana Flats delivery. It was one of those where it's already paid for, no payment needed on Postmates. So I picked it up. It was around this neighborhood. So I made my way over here to this part of Jupiter, Apicoa neighborhood. Because I know that Stadium Grill, JJ Muggs, is a popular place. People are likely to get their burger. They got some burger called the Smother Burger. I haven't had it yet, but I'll save room for it. They got desserts. They got all the good stuff going. People like it. They. That's one of the meeting spots. People like to go watch sports, watch games there. And for all of you all, you know, in the tourism, like a lot of other Florida cities, no matter where you're from, you can come here and get along with people, make new friends people that consider considering moving, you know? You might want a new start in life. Or depends on how you're doing it. You may be doing really well in life. You may want another resident. I welcome you to check out places like Jupiter. A lot of the places that I'm gonna share with you guys throughout this year, 2020, I'm gonna share with you all the beautiful. You may not have that much beautiful news on the news, on the television, but I'm gonna share the beautiful with you. Encourage you. Hopefully some you can play back and be encouraged by. Yes. Back in the light. <laughs> back in the light. So this is a way of this year. Making the best of my time, you all. Don't want to have much idle time. Make the best of my time. Yeah, I walked really far. <laughs> Wanted to make sure I'm in the same vicinity. I'm on the right street. Okay. Check out that scooter, y'all. Got the mint green with the white. It's pretty cool. Check out these trees. These trees are real. Beautiful. Waxy leaves. Welcome to the tropics. Welcome to the beginning of, of the humid subtropics. Things that you long to see in the Caribbean and Latin America, you start to see around here. The beginning of the humid subtropics. Nice. Hi guys. Yeah, showing you all while it's quiet. One of these, one of these days, I'm gonna show you when it's loud. When things are well again. <laughs> Not too loud though. Just have a little yeah, a little chat, a little banter. It's like picture that intersection right there. That Jumbie Bay. Picture that with about 15 to 35. Lively adults. All age 18 to 45. <laughs> Some may have a little more seniority in that. They just good time people but it's a young lively place they're talking everything from what happened in the nfl games today to how's your weekend how are you what's your name where are you from a lot of that with security on post you have to worry about anybody acting bad got the college kids coming in and out whenever they got their time to come home but times are different right now times are different right now I want to share with you guys, committed to keeping these these communities a very fun, enjoyable place. Like what I showed you was just two or three blocks, but there's so much around this. You know, there's dining of all classes, whatever you want. You want fast food, very nearby. You want to try some cultural, some ethnic taste. Whatever it may be, Italian, you know, some Latin American. 
different things of that sort. It's nearby in the neighborhood. Family owned places. Different gyms and fitness centers throughout here. Whatever it is, cycling, yoga, Pilates, things like Orange Theory, and this community. Very nice. But, uh, different places, burger places. A lot of good places, y'all. Barbecue type of places. Unique segment restaurants like how Chipotle is known for the bowl. You got all kind of other places with a bowl feature. Maybe a different taste of different ethnic food. But they have it. Even at that Palm Beach Gardens Mall, you see me posting there before. All kind of goodies in there. And some salads, salads and smoothies to pizza to Chipotle and Chick fil A, Asian food. Ice cream, frozen yogurt, ice cream cake, all kinds of stuff, right out the mall, right out the mall. PF chain, you got Brio, the Tuscan Grill, a lot of that's in this community, a lot of that. Great community, y'all. Uh, one of those days I want to make sure I put my time in, connect with you all on YouTube, Instagram TV. I've done my deliveries, but been gaps in time I want to use my time effectively, put my reach out there. I want people to know about this and connect the world better because when I when I extend an offer, for example, for you to use a food delivery service, you get your credit. I want you to be entrepreneurial about it and you begin sharing your credit so that you can comp credit to spend. Just like it was money you spent, you can use the credit to actually order food, order product, whatever it may be. And for all you all looking for work or looking for another stream of income, know that there are cities out here with that population density that would love to spend money with you and love to tip tip you too. You won't be working for free. Money's good, but you get to meet good people, good people that may have the words you need to hear in life. You know, the encouragement, the ideas. That morale. Sometimes you need morale. So that's how I get empowered. It's not just dollars. The dollars are a great reward. It's up there. But sometimes I hear things from a stranger in these communities in an upfront, respectable way that I do not hear where I come from. But all that helps build me up. All that helps build me up, y'all. And I want the same for you. Because you may just have that space in your life to go get something else. And I want to extend the opportunity to you. And I'm going to sign off now. Everybody be blessed. Y'all have a good Monday evening. Health and wealth to you. Thank you.